You think you have faith, but if your faith is a dead faith, you don't have nothing because you cannot prove your faith. I believe in Jesus. You got the shotgun? <laughs> I believe in the Lord. Reagan? Uh, did, did, is, he, is he cutting back? I believe in the Lord. But what is we going to do? Child, area, I don't know what we going to do. Uh, you believe, huh? Please. Come on. No, no, no. Let me tell you, brother and sister, when you got faith in you in the God who created the heavens and the earth, you don't sit around talking about what am I going to do? You get up and do something. And you don't, you don't just get up and do something. You get up and do according to the going to do. You get up and do something. And you don't, you don't just get up and do something. You get up and do according to the wisdom of the faith that God has planted within you. This is not a call to talk. It is a call to action. Faith without works is dead. I'm standing up in America now. By the grace of Almighty God Allah challenging the American government challenging the black man challenging the Muslim world challenging the Hindu world challenging the Jews and I don't have no army but I'm standing alone battling brother why because I believe a gun can protect me no the power of God is sufficient to protect the servants of God I don't need no gun. Some of you say, oh man, you ain't got no gun? You ain't looking at things real. Well, who made the gun? Where was it made from? Where did you get the metal from to fashion it? Did you get it out of the earth? Did you get it from steel? Did you process the handle of that with plastic or with some uh, form that uh, of a matter that came from the earth? Well now, you say you believe in God. That he has power over everything. But he don't have power over some little jive piece of metal that was fashioned by a jive turkey from the earth into some little shoot stick. The white, you say, oh, wait. Some of you all shook up. Oh, my God, he was doing all right. Now, now he sounds radical. There's something radically wrong with your head. There's something radically wrong with your belief in God. That you don't want to trust God where the white man is concerned. You're a liar. There's no faith in you at all. And what Elijah Muhammad represented was true faith in almighty God and when you met a faithful man you didn't know how to handle him he looked like he was crazy to you but he was relying on the power of the God that raised him up and the power of that God is with me today in what I'm doing so look we don't have we don't have to be afraid. We just have to act out our faith. Don't talk it, act it. Don't philosophize about it, live it. This is a call to action. So beloved, Brother Harold said, they're looking at you. But in truth, the whole world is looking at the black man in America. The fallen sons and daughters of what is called Africa. You got a great destiny, black man. Don't you throw away your talent and bury it. I'm, uh, I think I better cool it. I'm going to lay low with my talent, with my faith. I'm not going to stand up for what I believe in. 